Life Audio. Hi, friends. Welcome to Breathe, the Stress Less Podcast. I'm Bonnie Gray. I'm so happy to welcome you to this time designed just for you to relax and to soak in God's loving words of affirmation for you and to pick up a helpful soul care tip based on science and scripture so you can relax and renew calm to your body and emotions. Well, friends, when was the last time you felt in awe or wonder struck about something? I have two stories to tell you. Don't worry, they are short, but they all happened this past week. And I thought, which story should I choose to share? And I said, I'm just going to share both with you because we are kindred spirits. We walk alongside each other on the journey of life and faith, whether in the valleys or up on mountaintops, Jesus is with us and he's the one that brings us this rest. Friends, how important is it? to experience awe and wonder. How important is it to our well-being? And is it just some extra experience that we can have once in a while? But is it something that God actually wanted us to experience and designed within the world he created and within you? The way God made your soul to be lifted up when our mood is low or when we're looking for that calm peace Did you know that wonder and awe is part of the experience that Jesus invites us into and to refill your tank? Well, today we're going to be reminded of a blessing that we want to open together. And I'm so glad you're here. Well, this is a really special week because on Thursday, April 4th, I'm going to be opening registration for a new spring quarter of Soul Care School. And the theme is going to be about rest. Breathe rest with Jesus. And we're going to learn over the spring quarter weekly rhythms, how we can breathe in rest with Jesus. Because a life of stress and chaos, it can change into a life of peace and joy when we experience rest when we put in different rhythms in our lives that will help us to rest with Jesus. Rest is one of the three ambitions that scripture calls us to, to live a restful life. And of course, I just go crazy, amazing, happy, joyful, crazy. When I think about the word rest, my whole ministry has been about rest. And there's four books I've written, Finding Spiritual White Space. There is Whispers of Rest. Sweet Like Jasmine, and Breathe 21 Days to Stress Less and Transform Chaos to Calm. They're all about rest in different ways. And so I want to spend that time to guide you to learn different ways to experience more rest in your life and to integrate them into your practice, in your spiritual walk, in your physical wellness, spiritual wellness, emotional wellness, and social wellness. So I am so excited for a fresh new theme I'm going to be guiding you into. Go to mysoulcareschool.com. Again, go to mysoulcareschool.com. And I have a free bonus for everyone who signs up. It's going to be a faith-based yoga. I have a certified yoga instructor that is a Christian And she's going to guide us to learn how to help our bodies and emotions relax through yoga, faith-based yoga. So I am so excited. Can you hear the excitement? I want you to sign up and grab a friend. How fun would it be to do it together and encourage each other? Go to mysoulcareschool.com. Mysoulcareschool.com. friend, I shared that I have two stories to share with you because I took a flight this past week to fly from San Francisco Bay Area in California over to incredibly beautiful East Coast all the way to Maryland. 
and it was by Ocean City, like literally across the opposite end of the United States. And I took this flight because I went to meet with 660 women of faith. The Faith-Filled Women's Conference invited me to lead an all-day Breathe Conference. It was a soul care retreat. I went through four different sessions of helping women to guide them to learn soul care tools, to learn to lower stress in four different areas and flourish in wellness. That's spiritual, emotional, physical, and social wellness. And it was amazing. Now, if you haven't done so, take my soul care quiz. Go to soulcarequiz.com and you'll be able to take a wellness assessment for your soul. And what was incredible is that a week before I went, I had one final phone call with a beloved sister there who was the speaker coordinator. And she said, well, Bonnie, we would like to invite you to do a walkthrough of the Civic Center so that you can know your speaking area and we can help you to point out different interest points along the venue. And I said, oh, well, that's okay. I usually like to just be restful, prepare my heart for the all-day conference that I'll be speaking at the next day on Saturday. So I said, we'll just come earlier and be able to do the walkthrough then, which is what I typically do. But this is the funny part. So my friend said, but Bonnie, wouldn't you want to walk around the arena? I would think as a speaker, you would want to see the arena that you're going to be speaking in. And I said, what? I said, I'm going to be speaking in an arena. And she said, you know, it's at the Civic Center. I said, I did, but there are ballrooms in the Civic Center. And she said, no, you are going to be in an arena with 660 women that will come. And I was just blown away. So friends, can you imagine the awestruck wonder I had standing up in the arena and looking at the sea of tables of women as I guided them through different soul care practices? And I felt that it was like a wedding banquet with Jesus and that we, the church, is the bride of Christ. It was so beautiful powerful to see the Holy Spirit moving as women were laughing, sharing their stories. And at one point, as I guided them to beautiful, imaginative prayer through meditation, the whole room arena was in a hushed, sacred silence. It was so beautiful. And it just gave us a taste of heaven on earth that wherever we go, we have family we can meet with Jesus together. We can bring out the treasures. And that is your story. Every moment matters in God's life. And there's no chapter in your life that's throwaway. Because in every chapter, no matter where we go, Jesus walks with us. Well, we just celebrated Easter. And I think that is the wonder struck that I experienced this week for me, the awe. Just seeing, as I met women signing uh, the book, Breathe, my ECPA winning book, I encourage you to make up a copy because it explores those four areas of wellness. But I sold out by midday because the women said, oh, this is perfect. I can read this together with my friends. We can explore it. And it's wonderful when you're given permission that you're not alone. We all experience stress. Our stories might read differently. But our nervous systems respond the same way to stress and, praise God, the rest response that God gives in our nervous system that we have to activate, we have to put feet to faith together with Jesus. It works the same way. So it's so beautiful when we get to learn together, share together, walk together. So for me, that was an awestruck, wonderful thing as I just met women and immediately became fast friends. It's very powerful to be in God's family together. Well, the second story I wanted to share was my son. Those of you who've been in the brief community know that it was just this year, my son, Caleb, he's a freshman. And he just recently learned with this freshman year that he likes running. He never tried it before. He'd always played soccer, but his PE teacher said, 
to us at his eighth grade graduation. You may want to have him try out cross country. He has a really fast mile. And so he's doing the track and field season right now. Those of you who have kids or have had kids go through team sports, you you would know it's track and field season. And he just went to run his second meet. And he said to me, mom, I realize I'm very, very conservative. I'm really safe running the mile. And this time I really want to try to get sub five. He said, I, I'm sometimes I'm concerned about falling or maybe, you know, just not making it. And he said, I, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to really go for it. And I really loved that he had that mindset, that heart, because I said, Caleb, the most important thing is that you feel free. You feel free to run and pour your whole heart and passion into every step you run. We watched Chariots of Fire, and I said, when you run, I pray that you feel God's pleasure. And so watching my son run with all his emotions, all his body, and to run with his whole being. And I was in awe and awestruck of seeing him let go and just run. My son did not make sub five, but he had a PR, which in the running world is he broke his personal record. And for him, he was so happy because he said, I love knowing that I didn't play it safe. And I could just see that smile shining bright. And it just reminds me, friend, as I was preparing my heart to share with you this Easter week, as we just celebrated our Savior's resurrection and the power of that new life, God created us for wonder and being in awe of how he created you and how he created the world. Because there's this wonderful story that's in the Bible. You know, after he resurrected, I know it's after Easter, but it's not over because after Jesus resurrected, he met with two people as they were walking away from Jerusalem. Their hopes were dashed, their hearts were disappointed and discouraged, and things just didn't turn out the way that they thought it would. They had so much hope. But these two friends, they were walking in the opposite direction of Jerusalem, and they were going back home to Emmaus. And it was on this journey that a stranger joined them. And this stranger was very quiet, and he was such a nice traveler because he said, well, what's going on? And these two friends, one of them named Cleopas, said, well, are you the only person I haven't heard yet? <laughs> he told them all about the terrible things that had gone on. And Jesus really just said, tell me more. That stranger was Jesus. And it was as they were walking along, a long time just telling Jesus everything, the long version, as you can imagine, in detail about everything that went wrong. It was after this time they spent together at the end we find in the story in Luke that they invited Jesus to stay for a meal. Do you know this story? It's one of my favorite stories because I love taking a walk, a delightful story where a gentle stranger, Jesus, was spending such a good quality time that they decided, you know, why don't you come eat with us? And it was as Jesus was breaking bread. And here's the passage. When he had reclined at the table with them, Jesus took the bread and breaking it, he began giving it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him. They said to one another, were not our hearts burning within us while he was speaking to us on the road? That's in Luke chapter 24, verses 29 to 32. And so friend, I love that it says their eyes were open and they recognized him. And it was in this moment of relaxing, of resting, of eating a meal and breaking bread. And it says it right in the scriptures, Jesus took the bread, broke it and gave it to them. It's in this act of receiving. So friend, I just want to ask you, when in your time this week, have you taken time to just simply rest and receive? 
Now, Jesus isn't physically here with us, so we have to put feet to faith. You need space to breathe. And I'm curious, when have you received something beautiful, comforting, joyful, or peaceful from God? That speaks to you. It's in that moment that these two friends, their eyes were opened and they recognized Jesus. Friends, I'm inviting you to a time of rest this week, post-Easter. The tulips are still blooming. We are not just returning to everyday life. In fact, after they had that experience of awe and wonder struck with Jesus, his presence, enjoying a meal, receiving something good and warm from his very hand. They changed their minds. They went back to Jerusalem. So friend, we don't have to stay discouraged. It's normal to feel discouraged. That's just what happens in life. In that moment, we want to take action, take movement to experience something that God wants to give you. And in that moment, our souls will be refreshed, refilled with hope. Because once we know Jesus is with us, that changes everything. Well, friend, I've been spending our time together exploring this topic of wonder and awe because I ran across a really powerful article. The reason why I liked reading this article is because it showed that the region of the brain where we worry about ourselves it's deactivated when we experience awe. You know, so all those things we worry about regarding our time, our goals, our striving, our checklist, the part of the brain that worries about those things it actually quiets when we experience awe or wonder. It activates the vagus nerve. Have you heard that term? So the vagus nerve is where there's a big bundle of nerves that go from the top of your spinal cord and it helps slow your heart rate down, helps with digestions, and helps you to relax. Okay, this is the amazing thing, okay? Awe cools down the inflammation process, and that's the part of your immune system that attacks diseases. There's just so many good things that happen when we experience wonder and awe. And there was a study I wanted to tell you about, okay? There were people who were anxious and depressed, and experience more body pain. These are people in a group that were 75 years and older because they're feeling down and they have body pain. Now, once a week, they went on a walk in this study, but they called it a awe walk, A-W-E, awe walk. And the only thing they asked them to do is when you're on your walk, go someplace where you feel a little childlike wonder and look around, look at the small things, look at the big things, just follow that sense of wonder. That's all they ask them to do. You know where this is bleeding, right? Because after eight weeks of the study, the awe walk group started to feel more and more awe. And what happened is chronic pain felt less and distress was reduced. So this is amazing. The part of the brain that feels wonder and awe, it will quiet and turn off the part of the brain that is ruminating on negative things. So experiencing goodness, seeing art, looking at beautiful things, things that are interesting to you, the little or the big things, okay? Those things, just being aware, those things will help reduce the negative rumination. As people of faith, we have, it's heaven on earth, it's Jesus, because we have so much scripture now want to give us and guide us to our breath prayer, because wonder and awe, God has the ultimate real estate on this. And we, as people of faith, have the biggest blessing, don't we? Because so much of what gives us awe and wonder is God's creation. God is the author of wonder and awe. And there's two places. And that first place is God's creation. How wonderful are your works in Psalm 92, 5? How profound are your thoughts? For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your deeds. I sing for joy at the works of your hands. And that word 
marvelous and great. It's wonder. And the second area is you. You know, Psalm 139, it's a beautiful verse, especially in soul care. Our breath prayer is, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Inhale, exhale, marvelous are your works. Inhale, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Exhale, marvelous are your works. That's Psalm 139, 14. Well, friends, I pray you breathe this in and breathe this out. And our soul care challenge, of course, this week is to take this wonder walk. So it's spring. You can maybe snuggle with a raincoat. You can put on your rain boots. But I want you to go outside for a walk and notice the little things. Go on that wonder walk with Jesus and breathe in this breath prayer and exhale. And your brain will spark with God's wonder and it will quiet the part of your brain that is worried. Well, I don't want to leave without inviting you to Soul Care School. I'm starting a new spring quarter and registration starting this Thursday on April 4th. And I have a special bonus, which is faith-based yoga. Oh my goodness, have you ever tried it? It's faith-based yoga. It's about breathing in God's scripture, exhaling his scripture. Our community loves this stuff, right? Because we love soul care. We love walking with Jesus to relax and be replenished in our wellness. I want you to sign up. If you haven't done so in the previous quarters, I cannot emphasize to you how powerful it is to be together in community Walk with Jesus to learn about, drum roll, our theme is about rest. Breathe, rest with Jesus. Resting with Jesus. And rest is going to be movement and active. I cannot wait for us as a community to learn about rest. And we'll have a weekly rhythm together that I will guide you in. So sign up at mysoulcareschool.com mysoulcareschool.com. You are worthy of care. You are worth loving and you're worth taking care of. So friends, sign up at mysoulcareschool.com. Grab a friend, do it together. How fun would it be to encourage each other to live a life of rest with Jesus? Remember that you're loved and you are cherished. Just rest. And I'll see you next time. Breathe, the Stress Less podcast is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.